UML component diagram introduction. So, here we are having component diagram and where to use this component diagram, what is actually a component we will be describing and we will be discussing on that issue. Component diagrams are used to visualize the organization and relationships among components in a system. So, how the components are getting organized and what are the relationships between these components in a system we will be discussing that one or we will be depicting that one in our component diagram. So, these diagrams are also used to make executable systems. So, here we are having one component diagram for this order management system. So, there is one component called order system and another one is the inventory system because order systems is actually using this inventory system while doing the ordering of the items. So, now question is coming in mind, now what is a component? A component can be a file, can be one package, can be one library, can be one active x component, can be one applet that is a small applications, can be one DLL, can be one executable program and application. So, anyone can be an example of a component. So, component diagrams are used to visualize the organization and relationship among the components in a system and these diagrams are also used to make executable systems. That means, if I want to make one running application, one application which will execute in those cases, this particular component diagram can easily be used. Now, consider this respective component diagram. Here we are having one controller. This controller is having view system which is interacting with the view so that the user can see the output of that application on their screens. So, that is a view system which will be containing user interface files, how the user will be interacting with the software, what will be the interface so with the help of which the user can interact, the user system, the user interface system might be the GUI interface. So, that will be depicted in this respective component and this is the controller which is the administrator of the system. These controllers is interacting with some set of models. The models may be the retailer model, may be the goods, customer, supplier. So, these are the models we are having and these models are interacting with the database server to access database for the read or write operations on the database. So, this controller is interacting with these models and these models are ultimately interacting with these database servers to for the retrieval and storing of information successfully and efficiently. So, this is the architecture, it is actually denoting the software architecture of this respective application and these components might be localized in a single machine, might be distributed into multiple machines and those machines are connected by some computer communication network. So, it might be the distributed component. So, that is why this component diagram will also depict that how these components are interacting and how they are interfacing with each other and which component is comprising of which modules and it will actually depict the software architecture. So, each and every EML diagram has their own purpose of their application. So, component diagram is that very EML diagram where the system architecture, the software system architecture, what are the different components are requiring, they are interacting with each other, they are referring each other will be depicted. Next videos will be discussing more on this component diagram, please watch all of them for the better understanding. Thanks for watching this.